What's happening people? Welcome back to the Sound Design channel. My name is La and today we're going to look at making a melodic techno bass in the style of tin liquor in particular. Uh, so let's have a little listen, have a little listen to my demo and uh, then we'll dive into the bass. Cool. So that is the sound. It's nice and fat, wide as well, and uh, has a nice bite to it. So let's uh, dive into the sound design. Okay, so within Serum, one thing that I do whenever I'm doing sound design is I always have an EQ8 loaded up here, and this is just for the, um, the spectrum so I can see what frequencies are being introduced. And so right now we have this horrible sawtooth. Not horrible, but you know, it's just a, a sawtooth, nothing's going on. We need to filter it. And we also need it to be quite plucky and short. So we're going to have this amp envelope like that. Or we can also attach it to the cutoff filter. And then just kind of find like a nice, yeah, around there. And then we're just going to lower down the octave. Bring the volume up. And then maybe a little bit less decay. And a bit, bit of release. Yeah, around there is all good. Now we need a little bit of a mid body. So we're going to introduce this at second oscillator here. Turn this down quite a bit. And then we need it to just be on minus one. So this is minus two. This is minus one. And then this mid body is going to be uh, stereo. Make sure you filter it as well. Turn it up. There we go. Nice. A bit more drive. And a bit of fat. I always put fat on, it just sounds really nice. And uh, put it in mono, make sure it's in mono so the notes don't clash. But they should be fine anyway because they're quite um, separate from each other. Uh, yeah, so this is sounding all good, but you can go a little bit further with this. So, say if we still want like a sawtooth, both these sawtooths, if we could find something like a basic waveform, like this basic MDC. So now it's still a sawtooth, but you can switch between some different waveforms, right? So you can switch between a saw and a uh, sine wave. So you can have it so it starts maybe on the sine wave and then goes and then every time that the envelope hits, it will go to a, a sawtooth and it will give it a different shape. So we go here or a different um, tone. So if I by bypass this. Good. It's just, and then you can do the same here. We'll just attach that same envelope here or that same kind of movement could go the other way instead and also we need to change this to uh, MCB so this is going from a uh, saw to a sign go further if you want yeah that's quite nice just whatever tickles your fancy, as long as you're getting that nice like, fatness out of it, which is all good. So now let's go to the effects and we'll add a little bit of distortion. You could use a tube maybe, but bring the mix down, bring it to like 50%, maybe 30%. Let's try a different one, maybe this. Yeah, and then we want to filter after this. Uh, so the same kind of filter, so we go to like MG low 18. Is that what we used on this one? Or MG12. And then we just attach this same plucky envelope here to the cutoff. Press control, uh, sorry, shift and alt and click. And it will change it so it goes in one direction. And the nice thing with the sound is adding a little bit of resonance. And a bit more drive here. There we go. And so what we really want is we want like a nice subby uh, bottom or a nice sub, which we have. And then we need some mid frequencies so you can hear that on uh, on like phone speakers and on laptop speakers and things like that. They don't have like a great sound system. You need to take care of this kind of area here. Also within the mix, that's what you're going to be hearing within the bass. But you need to have a bit of a body here. You can hear as I boost there, it really adds like a... A really nice kind of thick tone but if you've got to be careful because this is where a lot of mud lives so just a little boost 
And then I'm just going to EQ out a little bit of this top end as well. Yeah, nice. Okay, cool. And then we can just add a side chain to the kick. Also, should probably listen to the kick at the same time. Yeah, let's get a side chain on. I feel like it's it's competing a little bit because of the there's, there's a bit of a release time on the sound. It's going to be carrying over a little bit, even though the notes aren't hitting when the kick's hitting. It's good to just take care of this a little bit. Not too heavy with the threshold, but just a little bit. There we go. The kick's coming through a lot more, and we're not losing anything from the sound. You can also compress a little bit. So if we compress, but we want a loose attack. So what that means is it's going to exaggerate the transient more because you're allowing the transient to come through the compressor and uh, before you before you compress essentially. And then with this kind of loose, we'll have a little bit of a looser release here, something like this. And I always put the well not always, but I uh, put the dry wet to around 50%. I don't want it to be too heavy on the compression, and we just want to grab it to around minus five. Yeah, something like that, and then we just make up the gain. Need to turn it down on the on the channel a little bit. Put this soft clip on. Let's compare, let's see. I think the volume will dip. Let me just duplicate this here. It's a little bit too uh, too loud. I can, it sounds like it's slightly distorting. I'm just gonna reduce the gain on here. All we want is to be able to hear a bit more of a, a bite coming from it. Yeah, for sure, it's bringing out a lot more of the initial hit. Yeah, even more with a quicker release. That's all good. That's what we want. Um, and then that's really it for the processing. You don't need to do any saturation or anything like that because you already have. Um, it's just, yeah, I think Oh, the last thing I did, sorry, is some mid-side EQ. So we can just copy this EQ here to the end, or you can put it before. It won't really matter too much with the order in this case. And so we go to MS here on the EQ8. And then with the, we can take away this little boost here. And so with the side information, so you click S and it will go uh, yellow and you can see the side information now. And in the side information, we have uh, some bass, which is sitting quite low here. So we just get rid of that. You don't need to go too far because you will take away a bit of the warmth from the track, but just to take care of a little bit of it. And you can boost a little bit here. Yeah, nice. And there we go. That is essentially the bass. We'll just hear it with everything. All right, cool guys. So that is the bass sound. I hope that was helpful for you. Uh, all the other sounds in here are taken from, well, the drums are taken from the melodic techno drum sample pack through PML. And then this kind of sounds at the, at the beginning are taken from the melodic techno serum pack, which is this one here. Hopefully you can see it on the screen. It's this kind of break thing that I used at the beginning here. And then, yeah, and this uh, bass sound here that I played at the beginning. So it's the same kind of tone as the uh, original bass sound. Uh, it's just literally a sawtooth with um, an LFO on the cutoff filter playing this eighth dotted pattern. And it's just playing the same progression as what we have here. But then obviously it's got a different character within the drop. All the other things are just like impacts and, and rises and things like that. And they're all taken from this melodic techno pack. So yeah, I'll link all those things down below if you're interested. Uh, thank you very much for watching this one, guys. I will catch you in the next video. Peace. Mm -hmm.